I met with my plumbers today and we definitely have a blockage in the main. As you know, we've been teaming up with Amazon Home to help us with our renovation. First of all, I just want to say thank you so much to Amazon Home for sponsoring this series and making our decision-making lives so much simpler. As you've seen, we've encountered quite a lot of hurdles, permits, loan applications, plumbing drama, etc. But thankfully, Amazon is making our lives so much easier, making the design process so much less stressful. Our hard work will really all be worth it in the end. I know it. One thing that is giving us relief is the reliability of Amazon Home. So buying from them is obviously super easy. All you have to do is pick out what you want and you're good to go. You know how Amazon buying goes. You can view things in the room. You can use Style Snap, Discover, Discover Room, Showroom. They're all AI powered shopping tools that you can use while shopping for furniture. These really allow you to see like what the actual item looks in your specific place. Plus, you can check out fully outfitted rooms as inspiration and so much more. Stick with us as we continue Renovation Station. We hope you love the series. You can shop everything in the link in the description below. Shop all the pieces we love. Now, back to Renovation Station. On Friday, I'm meeting my plumbers on site. Yeah. And uh, they're running a camera down the main to see what's going on. In the home inspection, you ran into some issues, right? Where they, they couldn't, couldn't get, it, get it through. Do it. That sounds odd. I mean, it, it does does happen but it sounds a little odd so so we'll definitely uh check, you know, out. check that out so plumbers coming friday mm -hmm. and then pending that yeah. is when you'll know when you can get started on the rest. yeah if everything checks out pretty good or even if there's some work that needs to go into that main yeah i don't see why we can't start pretty much this coming week on the house. What? So that'd be great. Okay, yeah. awesome. The doors you said you were gonna send me some options. Yes, in the plans, it did show that the outswing of the door was three feet, which uh -huh. would make that a six foot wide door. But we have a little more space there. If we opened everything up and centered the six foot door and then maybe did at least like some skylight panels on the side of it Ooh, just to yeah. let natural light in so if that's the case that's another nice. part that we could jump on just and just get it right out away. of the way okay, exactly cool. so okay. that's the that's the plan of attack so far the thing that i was talking about for timmy's terrace was essentially just like demoing that whole flower bed mm -hmm. out and then just creating some sort of patio mm -hmm. the little area out in front of where your doors are going to be where you walk out yeah that's roughly about 100 square feet like a nice little clean hundred square foot okay. section the most cost effective and cleanest thing to do there would be a, a, a new concrete maybe yeah. that hundred square foot area is tile and it transitions that way into like clean concrete yeah, yeah. I know. Stop doing that. we got to yeah can you fix my dinosaur <laughs> I don't work on dinosaurs dude but no, I'll work on your no. dinosaurs house <laughs> bring it out here kiddo yeah. <laughs> But yeah, we're still moving forward as if we're going to do the ADU yeah, while yeah, we do all the other right stuff. Now, okay, great. If you okay, could just cool. take a look at this Jurassic box. Yeah. No yeah. kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> you got some electrical in there? Yeah, dude. That's I think we need the electrician out here. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Are those oh, live what? wires? <laughs> <laughs> Sonny, awesome. if you get zapped, <laughs> you've done something wrong. All right, thanks, yes. Dan. Thank you. Everyone, bring it in. That is a no. Goodbye. Good night. That looks really high. I'm going to say I like that darker color rug on the right, but let's just keep both of them in for now. That could be cool. I like that one. Uh -huh. All right, we can switch the couch. Let's switch the couch. So I think we do this couch okay. with this coffee table uh -huh. and the darker, the sisal rug on the right. Exactly. I think it looks really good. That looks great. Let's start moving other things in. Okay. We like the black chair. All right, that's the white side table. Mm -hmm. It looks so put together. I'm a fall on interior designer and everything's from Amazon. Timmy. Yes, my love. I have something to show you. Great, show me. So we have initial furniture selects from Amazon for the living room. Whoa! And it's gonna, hold on, let me explain something to you. The couch is gonna be here. I like it. And this is gonna be in the corner underneath the stairs, like a little, it's little own reading nook kind of thing. I like it, I like that coffee table. The coffee table's cool. This is boucle. I thought a sisal 
a rug would be better than like a print type of situation. How, how do you feel about that? I'm a Sisal guy. Shout out to George Sisal, inventor of the Sisal rug. <laughs> Maybe send this to Hillary and see what she thinks. I was thinking that too, but I was like, then that's gonna take two weeks for her to respond and then it's gonna delay. Maybe just pull the trigger, you know? Okay. It's happening. It feels like it's happening. It's starting up. What's up? Read your text. Dan, so excited to get started. Any update on the windows and the build out of the vanity in my bathroom? Let me know. So we're starting. <laughs> yeah, we're starting. That's we're exciting. Starting tomorrow. We're, start uh <laughs> we're starting tomorrow and he said it's only going to take three and a half weeks. It's exciting that we're starting. It's so exciting. We have all the plumbing fixtures. We have all the lighting fixtures. We have a lot of furniture and the stone, like all this, the stone for the kitchen top and the, and the um, my bathroom top. Our sinks came. You have wow. like this awesome, wow. like concrete. Sinks. You and Annie did so much work. We did, we but did. I'm just wondering, like, I'm like, what else do we need? All right, well, you know, whatever. But things, things are starting after a long hiatus. Yeah, totally. Go team. Totally go team. <laughs> hey, I have to design my little office area, but I sort of have a vision. Maybe I should go tell this to Whitney. So I have a vision. Oh, you do? Yeah. Basically just like floating shelves, sitting level, uh -huh. sitting level. And then the computer screen is here good at a sitting level, but uh -huh. on, a, on a mount uh -huh. so that when I stand up, I can like raise it Lift a little it bit. And then I want another shelf so uh -huh. that I could just put my keyboard and then another shelf I could put my mouse on, you know, when I stand. I think Dan could custom build something easily out of like a cool wood that you could choose, you know? Can you build me something like similar to that? Build you something similar to that one. Yeah. All right, let's send this to him. All right, we'll see. Bye guys. <laughs> it's lunchtime. We got this pizza made maker out there. I don't know if you could see it. And I made my third pizza ever. Dan just sent us an update. Whitney, screed it. So I texted him about what we just talked about, the update on the windows and the built-in vanity and my bathroom and Sunny's desk. He wrote back, hi guys, I should definitely have something soon on the windows and doors. Everyone seems to be crazy back ordered. By the way, the windows and doors we're talking about are the big windows that lead out to the deck off of the living room. We're replacing that whole window situation. And then we're replacing maybe some of the windows and like the primary bedroom doorway. Also, I met with my plumbers today and we definitely have a blockage in the main. I think that is why they couldn't get the camera through. They're going to get us a quote to hydro jet the main so that it can clear out the roots and then we could assess the damage. This is getting into the plumbing which is the first thing you have to do in order to start. And obviously we're having major blockage. issue, major blockage. First of all, hydro jetting sounds totally cheap and assess the further damage means like hydro jetting is not going to fix it. No, it's just, it's just going to clean it get out, out of the way see. so we could see how much trouble we're in. Shoot. What's the opposite of like a high five explosion? We could start like this and then go, and then it could be an explosion here. And then 